Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. Today we're going to be working on a machine from Vaughn Hub called Kyoptrix Level 1. And as you can see here, it says that this VM is a very easy challenge and it's meant to teach us the basic tools and techniques for vulnerability assessment and exploitation. Today I'm going to show you how to exploit this machine using a publicly available exploit that might not work because it's outdated or something like that. So we are going to identify the services of this machine, we're going to find out that we might be able to use an exploit. And when we try to use an exploit, if we run into any issues, I'm going to show you how we can troubleshoot it and look up things and make sure that it works. This is very helpful for us because this machine is also on this curated list by the NetSec Focus admins and it's supposed to help us with the OSCP. Being able to work on public exploits and make them work in your situation is very important. And that's why this machine is here. And there's other vulnerabilities too that we can work on, but that's what we'll focus on today. So without wasting time, let's just go ahead and uh, sign into our Kali machine. By the way, I did show you how to set up this lab in my previous video. So if you don't know how to set up this lab, I did make a video about how I have it set up. I also have a lot of machines that I worked on from Hack the Box, more than 20 videos. So make sure to check them, them out and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And so once you get in our Kali machine, you will notice that for me, at least, I created a folder called Machines and Keyoptrix. And in here, that's where I'm going to be working and putting all my scans in. I also use pentest.ws and this is where I keep most of my documentation. It's online, I can move them around and it's free. So the first command that I run is for the first 1000 ports. So nmap sc sv output to tcp. sc is going to find saved scripts. sc is going to use saved scripts and sv is going to find version numbers for everything that I run. So, if, and then VV is going to be the boss and the file name that we're outputting to for OA is going to be called TCP. So as you can see, if you run this command, I don't like to use the v boss because I don't want to see it, but it's going to save things in, the, in a file called TCP. And as you can see from there, I already did it. If I do a less tcp dot nmap, that's the same command that I ran here for us, just saving us time. We have port 2280 and all these other ports. This is where methodology and approach is very important. You need to figure out how do you start and find out what is vulnerable, what is going to let you in this machine right now. And the best thing that you can do is start from the top be uh, methodical. So I want to find out, do I have anything really for this one? So I can just use, uh, say, search exploit. This is a local uh, database for exploit DB on my Kali machine. Let's just run that and figure out if our version 2.9 is there. This will show us publicly available exploits so 2.9, and I don't see 2.9 specifically specified anyway. So at this point, I would move on. I would put 80. So put 80 is pretty much this page here. Just go to the IP address 192.168.5.53, which you can find from your DHCP or using a net discover. And then I will just have a default Apache page. This doesn't help me doesn't even have version information, but we do have version information because we used SV, right? So we do notice that we have this one right here. So let's go ahead and copy and search for any exploits that you might have here. Let's see. And we do have a few that might work. So let's open that one. There we go. Okay, and this is where things get interesting. It's just an exploit, so let's download it and save it here. 
again you can use search exploit or you can search on, on online for open ssl vulnerabilities um this is where we found it let's, let's go back here we do have uh, open ssl 2.8 right here and that one is for 2.7 but we also have 2.4 so 2.7 should work that's why I'm running that one. So going back here, we downloaded this one and let's go here in our downloads. We should now have our exploit before it's compiled. It does tell us how to compile it though, by just running this command. If you haven't compiled a public exploit before, I would suggest that you pay attention here. As you can see, they show you the generic one, but ours is code 764. And obviously, we can rename this to whatever our name exploit. And we can just do that. Of course, look what we have. We have a problem. Huh? It doesn't work. What do we do at this point? We move on and try to find another exploit or do we try to fix this problem? Yeah, Google is our friend here. We go to Google and we look it up. And if you search, uh, in fact, let's just do this one. If you search the name of the exploit and the errors that you're getting here, you should be able to find a solution for you. So you just copy that, Google search, paste it, compile errors. Let's just do it, compile errors. It leads the very first result is here, or you can go to this one. Both of them will show you the same thing. But let's use the very first result on Google, how to compile this one. I'm going to leave this to you as homework, but I'll show you very quickly how you can do it. It does tell you exactly line by line. So I'm going to show you the first two and you can do the, 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 the rest by yourself. But the quickest thing that you can do is they explain how this is old because it's from 2003, yada, yada, yada. And they tell you exactly what you need to do. So all you need to do here is be a good student. Go to this link here, download the exploit and fix the exploit. And you're going to see, realize that you'll be fixing a lot of exploits in your career. So this is good practice. So uh, add this to line 24. Again, this is old and now you're running a newer version of Kali. So that's why it's not working. And we're not really too interested in all the ins and outs. We just want to know that we can fix exploits if they don't work. So if we do as VI 764, to find the line, we say set number. And one find line 24. Can we find 24? Okay. So if we do an insert, so that's going to be our line 25 just paste that all right that's the first one then replace command 2 on line 762 so let's do um, let's find command 2 762 command 2 so you want to replace command 2 all right, so on line 72, we're going to replace with this line here, which we are just updating the uh, URL of where we're getting the things. And we just paste that. So do this for the rest. These are very specific instructions. I'm going to link them there. Replace this line and put if, just do this. Uh, let's save some, uh, some time here, but this is a step-by-step and then at the end, when you're done, run the compile. You should be able to compile this exploit and be done. Um, when you're done, let's go back to our exploit here and see how we can run it. Because that's very impo important, right? First, if you, before, if you have never run an exploit before, let's just do that. If you do that, it's showing us all kinds of versions of uh, Linux and Apache. We need to find out what, what ours is. And in this case, Radiant Linux 2.84 and 
2.84, yeah, 2.84, the partial 1.3. So let's go back here and see which one it, it is for us. Apache 1.3, there we go. So we can use this one. Or oh, this this one also should work. All right, so we, we're going to use this one. All right, so in order for us to run this, we can just call the compiled uh, exploit, which I named exploit here. We found that um, ours is going to be the Apache 1.3, so this one. I'm assuming the B means that we can, we're using the latest one. So let's do this. All right. And then we specify our IP address, 192.168.5. Fifty-three, and we're just going to do the count for fifty, and go. Look at that. Okay, so after a few minutes, it just hangs here. Let's try to do something. So if I go back to my Kali, let's do an ID. Sometimes you have your shell just like that. Now we are root, so say who am I? We we're able to exploit it. So what's the biggest takeaway here? The biggest takeaway is that you can get public exploits that do not work. And you can fix the public exploits by researching the errors, because somebody might have fixed them, or you can fix them yourself. So that's the biggest uh, takeaway here. It's not how to get root, but mostly on how to work with public exploits and that they don't always work. And if you follow the directions there and you can practice, you might see some of this stuff in the OSCP. That's why they say at least that the exploits, they don't always work. And I hope that will be good practice for you as well. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe. I will be making more videos on this channel and we have a lot more fun hacking. So that's it for me. I will see you in the next video.